it's your girl Joy back with another banger. How you doing? How you doing? Baby, I'm sitting in this closet. School starts in, well, for the teachers. We go back. Today is Saturday. You know I don't know when this video is going to go up. But today is Saturday. We go back Monday morning. Monday morning. So that means I need to redo my hair <laughs> because the gray is popping, honey, and these braids are hanging on by a thread. So I'm going to talk to you guys while I cut my long braids out. So anyway, honey, let me tell you, this is the process that I take cutting these braids out. So what I'll do, I'm gonna cut all the braids out, watch a couple of movies, take the braids out. I'm gonna have, don't tell anybody, listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna teach Bay Daddy how to take out my braids. So you know, maybe we could get it done faster. <coughs> but you know, I'm not, you know, some things I'm not ready people to see so this can be plantation hair you know the shrinkage is real baby that's not cute so anyway i'm gonna color my hair take the braids out i'm gonna color my hair i use beijing i just got medium chestnut brown i use beijing that's what i use it works been working for me for years and i don't want to use black and then i use the jam as I braid my hair, right? But well, baby, I went up to that school, so I, I'm not gonna be able to look at y'all cause I gotta see what I'm cutting. <laughs> I ain't trying to cut all my <laughs> two inches off. <laughs> so, <laughs> I do me a thumbnail. So, checking to see if I done cut some of my hair off. The front is not too long. The last time I cut some of my braids out, I cut some of the front off. Oh well, I'm seeing dark and I can see um, where my hair is dark. So I'll just cut. And I really don't care. I thought about getting a wig, child. Ooh. I did think about getting a wig, but you know, students can be real evil. They be like, oh, Miss Basil, your hair don't move. It don't move. Your hair. Your hair. It don't move. And then next thing I come in with a different different color wig or something like that. Mm -mm. So I did look at the wigs. And then the braids are so easy. And then I started my run walking again. And it's just helpful. So I just dedicate 20 minutes in the morning. I did not do it today. I usually do it during the week. So, you know, I got to build up that habit and stamina. But, baby, I didn't take my classroom down this year. I told y'all that, right? Because I did an end-of-the-year classroom tour. I was like, bet. All I got to do is come in, you know, rehang something that done fell down. You know, something cute. Baby, y'all got to watch the video. I ain't even gonna. I ain't even gonna talk about it. Mm -mm, my world came crashing down, y'all. Crashing right down. And the stuff that I had planned to do, I could not do. So now I'm feeling beyond overwhelmed. And on top of that, y'all, you're not gonna believe this, honey. Listen, listen, listen. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. So. Come here, come listen. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Calm down. Bobby calls me crying, y'all. Crying. And I don't like when my kids do that because it make my nerves bad. Because, you know, I'm just like, what happened? What happened? Well, she kind of cute. This is the Bob with layers, y'all. Oh, she on the shoulder. Uh -huh. So, anyway. Focus, Joy. So, Bobby calls. And she's crying. Bebe, the car people called Bobby and told her her car is totaled. 
Bobby said the front of her car was in the inside of her car. Check out this picture. Mm -hmm. She was devastated. Devastated. Because she's thinking she's going to get her car um, before she leaves for school. So now, I think I cut my hair. Oh, well. She won't have a car. And she's still training. So it's an inconvenience for everybody. But I told her, we have gone through so much in life and her little age, it's, it is what it is. We just been through a lot. But you know, I try to protect the kids as much as I can from all that. And I said, we've got through so many things before, we'll get through this. And I was like, maybe, maybe, um, you got into this accident to save you from a major accident because if she just kind of tapped that car the other car what if it was uh if they were going faster higher impact baby the whole front of her car would have been in her seat you know what i'm saying so i was like maybe that was god's way of saying mm -mm, this piece of trash needs to go bye bye so <laughs> i'm going to fix that before you leave for college ba bam a uh, bam here's a crash for you you know, and I told her, I said, it's the way you choose to think about things. I said, you're going to be okay. I said, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I said, we always do. And mama always figures it out. Right? Okay. So I'm trying to make her feel good too. Because she was really upset. But her thing is, you know, she's leaving for school. She's supposed to be driving to school in 10 days, 10 business days. So, I have to figure out how to get the girl to school. I'll figure it out. It is what it is. We'll, we'll get through it. So, in front of her, I'm like, girl, we gotta get through it. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry your little heart about this. <laughs> Don't worry. It's okay. We've been through worse. <laughs> and that's why I'm sitting here in this closet. <laughs> like, God damn. Well, I do. And I really don't want to take off from school because it's like the first week of school. You're still building routines and procedures and you have to have that structure. And just to take a day off, it'll put me back to ground zero. And it's hard to get those days off. So anyway, we'll figure it out. And I think when she checks in, I believe she has classes that Monday. But the great thing is the insurance company um, is paying for her car. So that's good. They're paying off the car. So I was like, Bobby, don't worry about it. Girl, you're going to find you something better. It's going to be even better than before. So this is your way to get you something cute. Ooh, look at my hair, y'all. <laughs> don't unsubscribe. <laughs> you know, I have my inches back in about two days because that's how long it takes me and so um and i said at least you got your money they're gonna pay you you know some money so you can get you a new car and i said something's better out there waiting for you girl you're gonna be okay and we are gonna work this out because that's what we do mm -hmm. so in the inside i'm screaming a little bit but it is what it is so I don't want her to miss training and only having one car is very, very stressful. So, uh, so I'm gonna catch a ride in the morning with Bay Daddy, child. And Bay Daddy, they're on some early superpower, early moves. I'm like, you know, I still, I still got 45 minutes to sleep. <laughs> They were like, uh-uh, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> so, you know, and I don't mind getting there early because, baby, I know my students going to be knocking at my door. My old students, they're going to be knocking at my door, honey. That's what they're going to be doing. So I need to get there early. So if you see that video, <sighs> baby, I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry when I walked into my classroom. Cry. I think I sat down for an hour and I was like, 
oh my god i was like what the shelly done happened in here okay what the shelly is going on here what the fud rocker happened in here because this is not where i left Baby, they better ask somebody. Ooh, that's probably my little short edges. I don't see no dark here. I'm busy cutting these braids, leaving 18 inches of the braid left. No, and I only need one inch left of the braid. <laughs> and I'm checking. My hair ain't grow like that. It ain't grow like that, bro. So that is the T on Bobby and how this is. It is an inconvenience, but sometimes in life there are inconveniences. And it's not the things that happen to you, it's how you react to the things that happens to you. And so I'm trying to be very positive with her, especially with her even if I'm inside. But I know this too shall pass and we are gonna be okay because we always are. Mama will find a way like she always does. So, I don't know. It's not one thing, it's another thing. But at least she's help, healthy. Everybody's healthy. But at least she's healthy, everybody's healthy, and we'll get through it. And I told her, I said, girl, this is adding to your resume of life. You're going to be okay. Child, I may have to get me an adult soda. So I'm getting ready to take these braids out. And this is what I do to take my braids out. So I usually start at the top somewhere and I watch movies. I try to find the right side of the, the braid. And I watch movies. I get my rat tail comb and then start from the bottom. Start from the bottom and now here. You know I don't know the words no song. Zero. <laughs> so I came up with a new idea for a certain section in my classroom. So I'm really excited about that. But my goal when I went into the school on Friday was to do all my printing and my planning and get all my copies or whatever I was going to do. Sometimes I just like to have a physical copy. And then they told me I will not be teaching any online classes. So I'm very, very excited about that. It's like the, the, the online kids, they just were not connected. They, mm -mm. nope, thank you, next caller. So therefore I'll have six classes. So then I gotta comb out, ooh. And so that lesson we have there. I don't know. And I cut this top part. I cut this top part down. I probably cut off. Um, I probably cut off four inches off the top. Because you remember, some of you know, you may not know. I used to have a mohawk. My sides were skin, shaved like skin. So the top wasn't. So until my sides caught up with the top, I kept cutting the top. So now my sides have caught up with the top. <laughs> so now I have like a bowl cut. So that's my hair. Maybe I'll come back and show you with my afro before the shrinkage, not after. Shampoo, got my gray. So y'all, I ain't ready. Look at this. I think I'm going to be it. <laughs> oh, I could get me a ponytail, boo. <laughs> and I didn't even comb through this mess. Look at me. I got a ponytail. <laughs> Oh, let me 
put some sideburns down. Oh, don't tell me. Uh-uh. Oh, oh, I could rock a ponytail. Baby, I won't be able to rock no ponytail once I add some water to this and get my inches taken away with shrinkage. <laughs> Ooh. All right, go ahead. Get your laughs on. Get your laughs on, boo. Look. <laughs> Look, she long. Oh, see, she went all the way down there. See, you missed that. You missed that sleigh, boo. All right. Next time y'all see me, I'm going to be. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm about to flat iron my hair. I colored it. A little color. Edges trying to come back a little bit. I've been using the stuff by Baskin Lather. And I mainly focus on my edges. So, yeah. They got a little better. So I just put the stuff around here. Around the front part. So, now I'm on to flat ironing a little bit. Just a little bit. And then start the braiding process. Which will probably take me two days. So I'll make sure I do the perimeter so I can put it in a ponytail before I go to work tomorrow. Period, sis. Look, y'all need to be seeing me looking like Plantation Sally. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Well, that's it. I'll show you when I start braiding. <laughs> y'all, that's what my hair is giving now. Y'all remember I cut my bangs? I cut them up to here. I cut them to about right here. Remember when I was, took my braids out and tried to do a straight ponytail in a bun? Mm-mm. Ew, this is ugly. Who's doing this? Not me. Mm-mm, y'all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Child. Uh-uh. It's, <laughs> it's time to braid this hot mess up, y'all. Who wearing this? Not in this lifetime. <laughs> mm -mm. Well, I look like Hattie Mae. Hey, Hattie. Hey, Sugar. How you doing, Sugar? All right, have a seat. We're going to get this party started. It's time for the party. Are you going to get it on? Just like the breaking door. It's time for the party. Oh, God. Yo, Hattie got it, y'all. <laughs> mm -mm. Good night, blue cheese. It's time to start the braiding process, okay? Because this is not, not it. This is the hair that I'm using. It's 72 inches. So I got 5, 27, color 27. Color 27, 72 inches. And then I got two of this 613 for my little blonde highlights, okay? And it's pretty long. And these were three. These were four dollars. I think they were on sale though. These are each four dollars. And so what I'll do, I'll lay out about two packs first, and then I'll show you how I lay the hair out on the bed. It's a mess, it'll get messy, but then I'll watch my movies and get busy so now it's like i have the white hair brown so it's alternated you can't see it on the bed but every um, next to every brown is the white so therefore i kind of maintain even distribution and then when i get to the front i do more of the lighter hair than the brown hair but this is how I lay it out and how I get started. And I'll get started right the back of my hair. I already start at the bottom base. So I have that section then parted. And then I'll put on a movie and I'll get started. <laughs> Thank you.